In this video, we'll explore the fascinating and fiery world of volcanoes. So wind up for some explosive volcano facts that will blow your mind. Subscribe for more educational content if you enjoy the video. Alright, let's get into it. What is a volcano? The word volcano comes from the Roman name Vulcan, who was the god of fire. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust where magma and gases escape from deep inside the planet. Magma is formed when the Earth's mantle, a layer of hot solid rock under the crust, melts due to high pressure and temperature. This hot molten rock then rises to the surface through cracks or weak spots in the crust, or it can accumulate in chambers under the surface. When the pressure in the magma chamber becomes too high, the magma breaches the crust and erupts on the surface. The volcanoes formed in this manner tend to produce violent and explosive eruptions. Magma can also find its way to the surface when the crust above it shifts due to tectonic movements. The eruptions of these volcanoes tend to be effusive in nature. We will discuss explosive and effusive eruptions in more detail later in the video. The magma that makes it to the surface is called lava. The opening in the Earth's crust through which the magma erupts is called a vent. Volcanoes usually erupt in mountains, but they can also form on flat land or under the sea. Volcanoes are not just found on Earth. They also exist on other planets and moons in our solar system, such as Mars, Venus, Mercury and Jupiter's moon Io. Some of these volcanoes are even bigger than the ones on Earth. Olympus Mons on Mars is the largest volcano in the solar system. It measures about 600 kilometers across and 21 kilometers high. How are volcanoes formed? Volcanoes are often found at meeting points of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are large pieces of the Earth's crust that move and collide with each other. There are three main ways that volcanoes can form. Constructive plate boundary volcanoes form when tectonic plates move away from each other, creating gaps or cracks in the crust. Hot magma from the mantle rises up to fill these gaps and erupts on the surface. This creates new crust and landforms, such as mid-ocean ridges and rift valleys. Destructive plate boundary volcanoes form when tectonic plates move towards each other, creating pressure and friction. One plate slides under another plate, a process called subduction. The subducted plate melts and forms magma, which rises up and erupts on the surface. This creates volcanic arcs and island arcs, such as the Andes and the Aleutian Islands. Hotspot volcanoes form when hot plumes of rock rise from deep within the mantle, creating areas of intense heat and melting called hotspots. The hotspots stay in one place while the tectonic plates move over them, creating chains of volcanoes that track the plate movement. This creates isolated islands and seamounts such as Hawaii. Volcanoes can also form on other planets and moons in our solar system, where different processes may be involved. Volcanoes are complex and diverse. They can reveal a lot about the inner workings of our planet as well as others. They can also create spectacular landscapes and habitats that support life and biodiversity. How do volcanoes erupt? Volcanoes erupt when pressure builds up inside them due to rising magma, gas or water. When the pressure becomes too high, the volcano releases its contents through vents or fissures in the crust. The eruption can be explosive or effusive, depending on the viscosity and gas content of the magma. Explosive eruptions are violent and dangerous, producing clouds of ash, gas and rocks that can travel at high speeds and cover long distances. Some examples of explosive volcanoes are Mount St. Helens in Washington, Krakatoa in Indonesia and Vesuvius in Italy. Effusive eruptions are less violent but more frequent, producing streams or fountains of lava that can flow for long distances and create new landforms. Some well-known effusive volcanoes are Kilauea in Hawaii, Etna in Italy and Mauna Loa in Hawaii. What are the types of volcanoes? Volcanoes can be classified into different types based on their shape, size and activity. Shield volcanoes are large, broad and gently sloping volcanoes that are formed by repeated effusive eruptions of fluid lava. They have a low profile and resemble a warrior's shield lying on the ground. 
Shield volcanoes can cover huge areas and have long lifespans. Some examples of shield volcanoes are Mauna Loa in Hawaii, Tamu Massif under the Pacific Ocean and even Olympus Mons on Mars. Stratovolcanoes are tall, steep and cone-shaped volcanoes. They are formed by alternating explosive and effusive eruptions of viscous lava. Stratovolcanoes have a high profile and resemble a classic volcano shape. They can produce powerful eruptions and have short lifespans. Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount Rainier in Washington and Cotopaxi in Ecuador are stratovolcanoes. Cinder cones are small, steep and circular volcanoes that are formed by explosive eruptions of gas-rich lava. They have a low profile and resemble a pile of cinders or gravel. Cinder cone volcanoes can produce fire fountains and lava bombs and have very short lifespans. Pericutin in Mexico, Sunset Crater in Arizona and Lockie in Iceland are all cinder cones. Calderas are large, circular and depressed volcanoes that are formed by the collapse of the magma chamber after a massive eruption. They have a low profile and resemble a giant crater or bowl. Calderas can produce super eruptions and have long dormancy periods. Examples of caldera include Yellowstone in Wyoming, Lake Toba in Indonesia and Crater Lake in Oregon. What are the effects of volcanoes? Volcanoes can have positive and beneficial effects on the environment and human society. Volcanoes create new landforms and islands, such as Iceland, Hawaii, and Indonesia. These landforms can support biodiversity and tourism. Volcanoes can enrich the soil with minerals and nutrients, making it fertile for agriculture and forestry. They are a source of geothermal energy, which is a renewable and clean source of power and heat. Volcanoes can produce valuable resources, such as metals, gems, salts and gases. However, volcanoes can have negative and detrimental effects on both the environment and humans as well. Volcanoes can cause natural disasters, such as lava flows, pyroclastic flows, ash falls, landslides, mud flows, floods, tsunamis and earthquakes. These can destroy lives, property and infrastructure. Volcanoes can affect the climate, by cooling or warming the atmosphere with their emissions of dust, aerosols and greenhouse gases. These can alter the weather patterns, precipitation, temperature and sunlight. Volcanoes can pose health risks, by exposing people to toxic gases, ash and acid rain. These gases can cause respiratory problems, skin irritations, eye infections and poisoning. Volcanoes are fascinating natural wonders that can teach us a lot about our planet's history, geology and ecology. They can also pose serious threats to our lives and livelihoods. That's why it's important to study them and monitor them for signs of activity. If you enjoyed learning awesome volcano facts, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below with your questions or suggestions for future topics. Thanks for watching.